So it is National Entrepreneur Week. It's never really too early or too late to start. If you've been wanting to start a business, hey, why not start now? This morning, we have some motivation for you. We have a 12-year-old, a 12-year-old entrepreneur. That's right. She's the founder of Drea Drea Shea Butters. Andrea Henry is joining us, along with the founder and co-author of the Startup Squad, Brian Weisfeld. Both, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. So, Brian, I want to start with you. So, the Startup Squad actually helped Andrea with her business. Talk about what you guys do. So, uh, I, I've spent my career helping entrepreneurs scale and build their businesses. I was inspired by my daughter to create a novel series to get kids, mostly girls, interested in entrepreneurship. Inspire them to open up that first lemonade stand or bake sale and just start to develop that entrepreneurial mindset. And we're all about promoting girl entrepreneurs. And um, so, we heard... Andrea's story and wanted to help spread the word about her great business. Now, let's bring you in the mix here, Andrea, because you are here in Spring Valley, a local 12-year-old who, I mean, I, your website looks impressive. Tell us, first of all, about your business. What is it that you're selling? Um, so basically, what I'm selling are lotions. They're, um, they're all natural and made from all natural ingredients, no preservatives, no, like, chemicals. And they're really good for like everywhere, like your skin, your hair. And that's basically it, yeah. I'm looking at your website. I've added lavender and vanilla to my cart because I will definitely be purchasing this. Natural skincare. How did you, as a 12 year old, even come up with this idea? What was your motivation to do this? Well, um, it all started out when I was 10 years old. My mom ha came up with the idea. It was like, you know, you can make your own lotions because I have very dry skin. And all the lotions that my mom were buying from like different stores weren't working for me because they weren't moisturizing my skin. And so my mom was like, you know, you can make your own. So that's what we did. Like she bought me the ingredients and I made my first ever batch of um, shea butter and we used it and it turned out great. <laughs> I love so, that. Something that you needed, you made on your own, and now you're able to sell it to basically all over the world. Uh, how did the Startup Squad help you with this business? Well, the Startup Squad helped me um, because, like, they also had, like, different other girls, like, with their own businesses. So I got to learn um, from the other girls. And then they also promoted my business on their website also. So it helped me get out more people like um, finding out my product and buying more from me. Yeah. And, you know, Brian, with the Startup Squad on your website, I mean, there are so many, uh, you know, young people starting these businesses, young girls. Uh, tell us why that's so important for you to see young girls get that confidence to know that they can do something like this. Well, so there's a statistic that says 65 percent of the jobs that kids will, our kids will grow up to uh, fill today don't currently exist. So how do you train a, a kid for a future where their job exist yet? You train them how to think. You train them how to get comfortable with taking risks and comfortable with failure and comfortable trying new things and learning how to say yes when everyone else is saying no. That mindset that you get from just a simple lemonade stand or bake sale, those, that mindset will help kids be more successful in life regardless of the path they choose. They'll be better doctors and lawyers and moms and dads if they think like an entrepreneur. Right, and we're looking at images right now of your book series, what is that? So uh, the Startup Squad has been called the Babysitter's Club for the Next Generation. <laughs> it's a novel series about four sixth grade girls. In the first book, they run a lemonade stand for a school project. In our second book, they uh, run a t-shirt business to raise money for their, one of their brother's bands. And it's a fun story about girls who are entrepreneurs. And it's really light on the business stuff, but in the back of the book, we have actual business tips drawn from the narrative to help kids do a better job of running their own business. So we'll say things in the back of the book like, hey, you remember when the girls were making a big sign for their lemonade stand? Mm -hmm. Well, that's called marketing. And here's <laughs> some marketing tips you could use for your business. And so with each book, we hope that we're inspire, not only inspiring girls to start their own business, but also giving some tips to do a better job of running it. Right, and I love what Andrea was saying. Her mom was like, hey, let's make lotion that you can use at home. And then now it's turned into her business. So for any parents out there who may want to, you know, kind of nudge their children in that direction, perhaps their child came up with a great invention, uh, what advice do you have for them to encourage that entrepreneurship? 
So, two um, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> so two things. One is um, if your child is, has an interest or a passion, encourage them to start a business in that field. So Drea had a real, uh, Andrea had a real problem, which was she was trying to find a lotion that met, that um, uh, that would help her skin. So she developed a product to help her. So that was something that helped saw, helped her interest and makes her more interested in running the business. So that's the first one. The second one is encourage your kids to take risks comfortable with failure. There's nothing wrong with failure. We all fail. We learn more from our failures, though, and success in life is how to, how to come back from those failures and be resilient. So share your failures with your child. Oh, man, I really messed something up today with them so they get comfortable with risk and comfortable with failure. That's great. And Andrea, were you nervous starting your business? Drea, Andrea Shea Butters, how'd you feel when all of this first began? Um, really when this all first began, I don't think like, I wasn't really like um, thinking like for, for the future, I was like, oh, let me just sell these to uh, um, some of my family members. <laughs> and I was just making them and like not really nervous, but like, I never knew like it could be like uh, become this big and like, now I've, like there's a lot of people buying it. Yeah. So. I'm so glad to see your success. Spring Valley's own Andrea Harry. So good to see you both. Andrea and Brian, thank you for sharing your story. Thanks for the advice as well. And make sure Startup Squad is Brian's website. You can check that out. And then Drea, Drea Shea Butter for her products too. I'm telling you, I have a few in my cart right now that I'll be purchasing. Thank you both. Thank you. Oh.